So for my next build, I wanted to do a rat rod, so I pulled out this Lindbergh kit. I paid a little bit more for this one than I normally would, uh, probably because of the um, box art and the fact that there's some photo etch involved uh, in, included. Uh, although I looked at it, it's not that great of a kit. Um, let me open it and see what's inside. Well, there's another video on YouTube that is uh, better at showing what comes in the box. Um, but I will quickly show you what I've got here. This is the windshield, the clear part. Uh, I put it in a separate baggie that was loose with the chrome tree. There was one bag with all the parts in it. Um, as you can see, it's molded in gray. It's, um, I'll just take one part out of the uh, interior tub. It's kind of chunky. It's got a little bit of rough edges on it. Need some cleanup. The seat's molded in. Uh, there's not that many parts, as I thought there'd be more details. It comes probably with extra parts that uh, will, gives you options for wheels. Uh, there's one set of tires, just narrow black uh, vinyl tires, and a home tree. There's three sets of wheels, it looks like. Um, unless I guess these go together, I'll have to see when the instructions uh, check it. The uh, chrome tree is folded up against the fit in the box here, but it hasn't affected anything. So the next part is to uh, get these washed up and uh, separated and get some primer on it. So here are the parts uh, after being washed, what's available. Um, I washed the gray parts got the four tires. It comes with a set of fenders and a frame uh, if you want to build it that way or it comes with just the regular frame without the fenders. The interior tub. You have a small uh, pickup deck, a little bit larger pickup deck and I guess it would be a turtle deck trunk, two engine uh, halves, the uh, intake manifold, the dash. I think this is a piece of firewall, a uh, convertible rooftop, steering wheel, a radiator, and there's a photo etch piece that you can put in there. Um, I believe that's these are the two axle pieces. And then for the chrome, you get front and back, uh, like wire chrome wire wheels, or the chrome uh, moon hubcaps, and then various engine parts: the blower, the fan belts, uh, the headers. It also comes with side pipes, a pair of side pipes here, which don't show on the box. The springs and uh, differential fan and so forth. Uh, so not a lot of parts. It should be a pretty quick build. Um, just deciding which parts I want to use and uh, stay tuned to see. I'm starting on this rat rod kit by Lindbergh. I got the parts out that I'm going to be using most of the ones that are there and the, except for the some on the chrome tree. And uh, I stripped these. A lot of parts are chromed. These were all chromed. I stripped them using some oven cleaner in a little baggie and it came off pretty fast, uh, leaving the black uh, styrene underneath. I got the engine put together. I'm going to be leaving some of the uh, parts in chrome and uh, painting the rest. On this Lindbergh rat rod kit, um, I sanded the tires. Uh, there wasn't a lot of tread to begin with, so uh, they came out pretty smooth. I've got some of the pieces on the uh, on the frame here, the front axle, I guess the floor the trunk, um, some of the drive shaft and uh, linkages here glued in place. This has been dechromed, but the um, interior tub is all one piece. I've glued in the dashboard. The firewall here is a chrome piece. I'm probably going to leave that chrome and put that on later. I'm going to paint everything black and then detail paint it after that. Um, there's no bottom on the seat and there's no floor in the chassis. So when this goes on here, it fits on okay. Um, there might be a bit of a gap here between the trunk and the body, but there's nothing underneath. I'm just debating whether to put a piece of plastic sheet uh, styrene over that to close it in or leave it the way they built it. I'm going to start putting the wheels together and put the tires on. I'm thinking instead of using these wire wheels, which I'll have to use as the rims anyway, 
I'm going to use, if I can, I'm going to use these uh, optional moon hubcaps. I'm just noticing on the chrome tree, these wire wheels, if you can notice on here, let me get my pointer, that uh, this is right on the tree, I haven't done anything with them yet, and there's all four, so four sort of corners, there's a chunk out of them. As you can see, like here, there's a piece out, I'm going to have to cut them off the tree here. There's already chunks out of the corners here, so they're not molded very well. It's a typical Lindbergh kit. So with this Lindbergh Red Rod kit, you get this sheet of photo etch parts. Um, some of them are so small, and they're not even on the instruction sheet, to get these skulls and flames and crosses and chains for the tailgates radiator grill I'll put, be doing that next I pulled one off here for the uh, blower intake air intake I've got it uh, folded it, it's um, it's got lines on it where it folds easily I just used the edge of my knife and my finger and uh, ran a little bit of crazy glue around it I was just holding that uh, to hold in, in place there this is the instruction for that piece so it's uh, ready for paint now I'm going to get some primer on these frame and body parts and then uh, start doing the weathering so at this point I've got the primer sprayed on I've got the Rust-Oleum 2x black flat primer on the gas tank, the steering wheel, and the car body interior tub, I've got some uh, Mastercraft um, red oxide primer on the chassis and engine, and I've coated everything. Oh, I've got some uh, cry uh, Krylon, I guess it is, uh, chrome paint on the air scoop, and I've taken some just dollar store hairspray and uh, cleared everything with hairspray that I might be able to do some uh, weathering on it. That will be the next step. So at this stage I've airbrushed some uh, craft acrylic gunmetal color over the chassis and tin over the body. I brushed on some uh, Model Master in, uh, Chevrolet orange on the engine. And I'll begin the weathering process. I like to paint the wheel backs to look like rusted brake drums. Using craft paints, I dab on with a sponge some brick red, burnt orange, and a little bit of yellow to simulate the rust. I sprayed the photo etch parts with Krylon chrome paint and decided to leave the grill on the radiator in that color without weathering it. I printed some images I found online on regular paper, cut them out and glued them on with Mod Podge. As you can see here, the minions are putting the final touches on this hot rod. Careful there, that one cylinder has been giving us problems. Yep, that's the one. Well, the Lindbergh 34 Ford Roadster Rat Rod is pretty much done. I've got the photo etch in here. It's left it a little bit shiny. I've got the chrome panel on the firewall. I've left it chrome for now. I was debating on whether to dull it a bit. Um, I've got the photo etch air intake uh, on here. It's uh, painted silver. And the rest has been black washed and uh, rusted a little bit. You'll notice the wheels are pretty shiny. I've got the wire chrome wheels on there at the moment, but I'm going to be putting the moons, moon hubcaps on. I've added some uh, homemade uh, decals on the here and uh, the rat fink figure here. Of course, the, the uh, decals that come with the car. 
iron cross there and this little bit of pinstriping on the back the photo etch uh, chains and and the hinges here for the tailgate a bit of rust on the back here another rat fink homemade decal and a little uh, decal here the girl riding on a spark plug so I just uh, everything's in now I've got the decals on the photo etch uh, dash as well I'm just going to put the uh, moon hubcaps on and then give it uh, one more coat of uh, flat clear to seal everything up and uh, it'll go on the display case. It's not a great kit, it's not highly detailed, but uh, it does look pretty good once it's done. I printed out some box templates and glued them to some thin cardstock. Then I cut them out and folded them to make a parts box for some Ford parts to add to the build. So this is the completed build. The 34 Ford Roadster Rat Rod. It's a little worse for the wear, uh, but he's gone out and got some new moon hubcaps on it, so they're nice and shiny. He's got a nice little uh, box of some new parts there, Ford parts in the front seat. Put some decals on it. Of course it has the Minions license plate, custom made on the back. And ready to go for a little run down to the donut shop, hang out with the guys. These are the parts, photo etch, and decals that are left over. Although not a highly detailed kit, it was fun to put together and weather it. It did end up looking pretty good.